Hello everyone, this is Prashant again. I hope you are enjoying the series. Let's learn automation script. So today we are going to talk about another concept before we start doing the coding uh, and that is MX server. So what is MX server? You might have definitely heard about it. MX server is basically the reference of Maximo server, which is running and it has a runtime context. So we will actually be using um, mx server for different kind of reasons uh, mx server basically provide two kind of services so first one is application service and the second one is support services so what is the difference so if you want to access the mbo you want to access the logic application logic you want to work with mbo in that particular case and you will be working with application services when you want to uh, and then you may have support services so support services are the action which uh, there are methods which are written in mx server so uh, for example database connectivity establishing the database connectivity uh, database pooling all these things which are readily available are part of support services so you will every time whenever you are working with the mbo set specifically you will be able to use it and you will be doing system level operation you will also be able to use the mx server so how we access mx server so I am actually going to use Python primarily to explain the code and uh, uh, it is pretty simple even if you want to use JavaScript. So first thing to whenever you want to access the MX server you need to do the import. So you have to do import from phdi.server and you have to import MX server. Uh, this MX server once the MX server uh, library is imported then you can basically create uh, MX server instance. You, so we will be using mx server dot get mx server this is basically you are creating an instance of particular mx server and then you can actually use that for multiple things for example you want to work with uh, service i mentioned about the service classes that whenever we will be starting the next in the log you will be able to see that there are different kind of services which are available for example workflow services bulletin board services security services these are the services which are loaded in memory these are the services which are there to assist the logic and these are the services which uh, are the Java classes which will provide us the method which we can access across the board in all the application. So for example one of the services workflow service that right? you want to enable workflow and you want to uh, work on workflow service. In this particular case I can do a lookup so there is a method available and uh, mx server the instance of mx server and then i can do a lookup so mx server dot lookup and workflow so this will actually be able to provide me the reference of the workflow service similarly if you want to work with mbo set so in that particular case i have to uh, use um, mbo set so i can do mx server dot get mbo set this get mbo set is the method which will and then the name of the mbo and then the user info so this user info is the x the inf the access or the the info of the user with which you are logged in so for that you can do mx server dot get system user info or you can do mx server dot get user info so get system user info is taking the reference from the system user which is max admin and if you want to take the reference of a logged in user you can also do that if you want to validate whether this particular action should only happen when you have access of this application otherwise max admin will define will by default has access to this application so you can do you can basically create a variable mbo set you can give any name to it and then you can take the reference of mx server dot get mbo set so mx server dot get mbo set is the method which you can access and as i mentioned here if you want to take the asset set asset mbo set then i can mark asset and then user info so mx server is an important concept you will be using it multiple time and it's very common views is whenever you want to fetch an MBO from the server in that particular case you will be using uh, MX server. I hope this is clear uh, you are liking the content so stay tuned. <laughs>